Hey, this is Ed from Foundry, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use the automatic retopology feature in Modo to retopologize some scan data that we're going to download uh, from Sketchfab, uh, specifically the RTEC page. Uh, so we're going to use the absolute uh, polygon count mode of the uh, automatic retopology feature. But first, we're going to need to download uh, some scan data. So if I come over to the Sketchfab website, you can see I'm on the Artec 3D page. And Artec is really good because it allows you to uh, download uh, some of their sample scans. Uh, so this was done with a really nice scanner called the uh, Artec Space Spider. It's one of their top of the uh, line scanners. So to download it, you would just click download right here. So once we have that, uh, we can just come over to Moto and come over to File, uh, Import, and then I'll just double click the OBJ and click OK. And here we have our scan. I'm just going to pull it out of its file or its folder, and I'll delete the empty mesh that comes with the scene. Control 1 to bring up our main Pi menu, and I'll toggle the grid work plane off. So here is the uh, scan of the hand. You can see that it retained a lot of the details, uh, but at a cost. It is 800,000 uh, polygons, and it's all triangulated. So to reduce this and retopologize it so we have nice uh, quad geometry, I will select the mesh and then I just have a preference of uh, performing the automatic retopology function in polygons mode. You don't have to, uh, but I'll just come over to the mesh edit side tab here and I'll click on automatic retopology. And I'm going to change the poly count mode from relative to absolute. And that enables us to uh, give a polygon target. So at first let's try uh, 10,000. So I typed in 10,000 and I have new mesh enabled. So our uh, new topology will be in a new mesh, and this is optional, but I'm going to uh, enable quads. By enabling quads, it kind of affects the polygon target. Uh, it won't be as accurate if you have quads on. It will probably be closer to double what your polygon target is. So I'll click OK. And after a few moments, we have a new mesh, and here it is. It's looking pretty good, actually. And you can see in the bottom, it's almost double what we set, so it's 20,100. So that's pretty good. And if I come over to the Lists tab, and I come over to Polygons in the Statistics section, and uh, expand by Vertex, we can see that if I click the plus sign next to 4, which means uh, select all quads, all of the polygons are selected. Uh, so this is indeed all uh, quad polygons, so it works really nicely. So let me actually try to reduce this a little bit more. Uh, I'll hide this new retopology, and I'll make the uh, original scan data, or the scanned mesh, uh, visible again. And I'll come back over to automatic retopology. And this time let's reduce it to, let's do 3000. Let's get really ambitious here. I'm going to leave quads all, only on, and then I'll click OK. OK, so let's have a, a look at our new mesh. So again, it's still pretty good. I mean, if this was going to be seen at a distance and you needed uh, all quads, this works really well. So I would highly recommend using the uh, absolute poly, uh, poly count mode of automatic retopology. It's a really solid uh, feature of the automatic uh, retopology uh, pa uh, palette. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please uh, comment in the comments section and uh, visit our forum. Thanks for watching.